There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Such ones in Christ Jesus that walk not after the flesh. You know what God did to us when we gave our life to Christ? You know, you are operating by the flesh before you give your life to Christ. It means the flesh seemed to be more established. But when you came and gave your life to Christ, a new life was launched in your life. And the operating system of that life is your heart. And the power that drives that life is the spirit of God. So in every circumstance, in every situation, you have two possible ways of responding. You can either respond in the flesh or you respond by the spirit. And because you were used to operating in the flesh before you gave your life to Christ, it is most likely that your responses to situations will be born out of the flesh. But if you are born again, and your responses are born out of the flesh. The spirit of God is going to be grieved. Because the actions that you are living out. Are not actions that he pioneered. So he is going to register his displeasure. And you are going to have somewhat like a condemnation in your heart. The reason is because you have violated the conditions. That will guarantee that there is no condemnation. And the no condemnation status is a sign that you are in alignment. So part of our calling in the Lord is to ensure that we master how to shut out the flesh. The flesh, when it wants to secure your patronage, is very violent, very forceful. And God, when he wants to release grace, is gentle. So if you don't know the way of grace, you are going to be a victim of the flesh. The flesh is aggressive. The flesh is compelling. The flesh is forceful. The flesh seems, or seems to be speaking your language. Are you with me? For instance, somebody slaps you in public. The flesh will tell you that uh, 250 people saw you being humiliated. And um, the best thing for you to do to redeem your masculinity right now is to slap back and knock. <laughs> the flesh is analytical. The emphasis of the flesh is you. The emphasis of the spirit is Christ. The spirit on the other hand will say, well, I've strengthened you inside and with this strength I've strengthened you inside. You can ignore the slap. See, the emphasis of the spirit is Christ. The Christ option is what the spirit advertises. The self option is what the flesh advertises. So the flesh wants to give the perspective of self. Flesh is self-centered. And the reason for which Lucifer fell was self. I will. I will. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 to 14. Self. So anytime you find self, sin will not be far. The foundation of all sin is self. Don't forget that. Say, ah, the lady is beautiful. You are not the first person that knows she's beautiful. And then self preaches to you. How will she look like in my chambers? That's self. The foundation of sin is self. So self-centeredness will always lead you into the corridor of sin. But Christ-centeredness will lead you into the corridor of walking to please him and that's the foundation of holy living. 